hey everybody, here's the reality. Their video died, so they're gonna pick it back up again. And in the midst of that, <laughs> as they're doing this, know this, they want to, they want to have it be where they can pick it back up where they think they that it all ended up dying. The reality is uh, they don't know where that was. So it says you're about five minutes into it. So what we're gonna do is go back over the 10 attitudes of victorious living and these guys will engage you. Um, I'm glad I could help. Have a great <laughs> rest of your evening. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. Yeah. All right. Welcome back. All right. So let's just start with uh, Philippians 2 5. Yeah. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Um, as Matt always says, let it happen. Um, we, need, we just needed it. We just need to let Christ uh, take control because um, when I let myself. Uh, be in control nothing good ever happens yeah that's for sure okay so number one is humility jesus said blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of heaven matthew 5 3 i admit i am powerless over the effects of drugs and alcohol self-centered behavior my life is unmanageable uh two repentance jesus said blessed are those who mourn for they shall be comforted matthew 5 4 i believe jesus christ can and will create in me a new way of life Three is submissive. Jesus said, Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Matthew five five. I will give my I will give my will and my life to Jesus Christ. Four honesty. Jesus said, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Matthew five six. I honestly examine myself in the light of God's word. Merciful. Jesus said, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Matthew five seven. I humbly ask God's forgiveness for my sinful past. I am able to forgive those who have hurt me. Six, obedient. Jesus said, blessed are the, the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Matthew 5, 8. I desire to live under the guidance of God's Holy Spirit day by day. Reconciliation. Jesus said, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Matthew 5, 9. I ask for forgiveness of, from all those who I've hurt and dealt with unfairly. Eight, faith. Jesus said, Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the, is the kingdom of heaven. Matthew 5.10 I trust in the power of Jesus Christ when I face hardship and trials. Nine, perseverance. Jesus said, Blessed are you when, you when they revile and persecute you and say all kind of evil things against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be excite, exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. Matthew 5.11 and 12 I stand firm in my faith that Jesus Christ is in control of all things. Loving servant, Jesus said, you are the salt of the earth, you are the light of the world. Let your light so shine before men that they shall see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Matthew 5, 13 through 16. As a new creation in Christ, I share with others the good news of a risen Savior who makes his people whole. So Jeremy, why don't you share with me what... Uh, which one of these attitudes stood out to you tonight? Yeah, so obedient. So um, it's a choice. So I, I can obedient, be obedient to uh, Christ, which good things happen, being obedient and letting God's spirit uh, do its work uh, in me. Um, or I can be obedient to myself and, and have Jeremy run amok, and that's no good for anybody, um, which goes with tonight, which is um, submissive. So it's, it's letting that happen. Uh, those two really go hand in hand for me. And I had agreed with you. Um, I throw in honesty there uh, just because I have to honestly look at God's word and then I have to be able to submit to it. And if I, uh, once I submit, I'm able to give up everything and uh, I can be obedient. And, uh, but yeah, I love that. So Miguel, Glad you're here. Sorry you couldn't be here with us in person, but we're glad you're here. And we're glad we're getting comments in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're glad the video's actually on. So the next one is, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. Matthew 6, 33. And that's a promise, and that's based on those attitudes that we just went through, that um, those will, they're there for you. So, and now I'll show you the most excellent way, which is love. 1 Corinthians 12, 31. You want to hit the Titus passage for us? Yeah. 
And why would we do this type of passage? Um, it's it's we get it. It's it's where I came from. I was foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving myself and lusting pleasure. So um, this 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 passage um, means means a lot to me personally. So um, I love it. I, it's never it never gets old. It never gets old for me. Yeah. Um, it's it's my story. Um, we have a challenge out there. So if you were here. And I think that we can do the same. Hey, Matt, good seeing you too. Um, but if you were here, we would, um, we have people who donate a uh, steak dinner, if you can memorize this. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be close. And, uh, but why would that be important? Why would we want you to memorize this verse? Yeah, um, the steak dinner, it'll be good for a night. And that's maybe, you know. Maybe you might get hungry later, but um, it'll be good for that. But this will be good for the rest of your life, uh, even into eternity. It's God's word. It, it never comes back void. So I can uh, I was having really problems sleeping lately and I just started going through this verse in my head, even though it was just sleep. You know, my mind was going everywhere, going crazy. And um, it worked. It totally got me unfocused to what I was focused on and got me um, clean and was able to go to bed. So yeah, I love that. So you want to read that for us? Yeah. For we ourselves were once foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving various lusts and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful and hating one another. But when the kindness and the love of God our Savior toward man appeared, he saved us, not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us through the washing of regeneration new birth and renewing of the Holy Spirit whom he poured out on us abundantly through Jesus Christ our Savior that having been justified by his grace we should become heirs according to the hope of eternal life this is a faithful saying and these things I want you to affirm constantly that those who have believed in God should be careful to maintain good works these things are good and profitable toward men and that's Titus 3 3 through 8 so I, was, I said it earlier, and I don't know if some of you heard it or not, but the reason I love this verse is that it just reminds me, because I can, I can be real judgmental, and it reminds me that I, there's no reason for me to be judgmental, that um, I was this exact thing, and the only thing that changed me was Christ. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I can't expect others to act any different unless the Lord has changed them. So... How about you? What stands out to you in there? Yeah, it's it's very personal. Um, so I, I lived my life in, in lustful desires and pleasures and just living uh, life my way. <clears throat> but he saved me right there. It's yeah. insert your name, Jeremy. He saved Jeremy, uh, not by anything I did. Um, I, I, knew I, I knew I couldn't do anything good. I knew I couldn't do anything to save myself. Um, but he did all that work, and it's, it's, it's all him. Um, and then he makes me an heir. He, he puts me in the family. I love that. He, I'm a new creation. Um, an heir, we always go over this. Yeah. You're in the family. Um, you, you have an inheritance. Uh, everything here on the earth, you know, we, we try to gather and obtain and do all these things, you know, climb up the ladder or whatever and try to do all these things. But no, um, everything on the world is, is going to go away. Yeah. But we're an heir to the throne, to, to Christ. I mean, we're in the family. Like, we, we have an inheritance that going to be way better than anything we could ever achieve or get on this world and it's he did that uh, we we just have to believe yeah it's as simple as that it's cool i mean and uh we can run to him at any time I, you know i don't know about you but i don't know very many ceos or presidents or whoever that i could call and want to get in to talk to mm -hmm. <laughs> and we have that christ man we can go right before him at any time we don't have to set a, you know, set an appointment. We don't have to set. Today's the day. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. So. And yeah, we're gonna get into that yeah. in, our, in our study tonight, being submissive. Uh, submissive. All right. So the next thing we would do is we would introduce ourselves. If and uh, again, like I said, is that uh, you can share as much as you want to, but remember that it is live. So what you do share is out there. If you want to private message us, you can do that. But um, I came to this group originally, my name's Tim Gross, and I came to this group originally um, to serve. I'd served for a long time with the 
high school and uh, college age and um, was asked. And uh, I came in and my very first night as I was checking it out, uh, the Lord reached in, the Holy Spirit said, man, you got some hidden stuff that you need to take care of that uh, it, needs, it needs to be done. And I, I struggled with pornography, bad, uh, for 40 something years. And wife didn't know it, kids didn't know it. And, um, but man, I'm telling you, um, the free, the freedom mm -hmm. from it, when Christ finally sets us free, and uh, and it's not anything that I did. All I, I mean, I submitted mm -hmm. and I obeyed, but I tried for years on my own and right. I couldn't do it. Yeah, I mean, I failed miserably. But to be able to give that over and uh, submit unto Him and have Him actually take it out of there is amazing. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. yeah, so uh, my name is Jeremy. Um, Ten years ago, uh, Christ set me free from an alcohol addiction that, you know, it, it gradually started out. Well, I say gradually. I was introduced to alcohol at a young age and, and you know, instantly fell in love with it. And it was a, it was a social thing, too. So um, as, as being an introvert, I gravitated towards it and was easily could become an extrovert. So alcohol just played an important role of who I was all the way to, through college and then it spilled over into career and then it became just just it, it was who I was I was just I was drinking all the time because um, I didn't I didn't I didn't like <laughs> I was I was hateful and hating everything um, but I I cried out to Christ and I asked him I, I want your will because my will is is leading me to hell and it's and it's gonna ruin my marriage it's gonna destroy my marriage so um, he showed up and it was his work um, he did a he did a miracle in my life so I show up because yeah um, I'm I came from it I, I know it how it can and, and yeah. I tried like you said you know I, I tried I, I could muster enough uh, willpower to to you know maybe go a couple weeks but yeah. Um, yeah, it eventually would come unraveled yeah I think that uh, we are really good at justifying and overlooking because I know the lie that I did all because the only person that's affected was me. But it, it did. It affected my marriage bad, you know, and it affected the way that I looked at other women and the way that I and but I believe that lie that it was only affecting me. Right. You know, and uh, and the same with alcohol. I alcohol was much younger in my life, but again, you know, like you from high school on but, you know, and it's easy to grab a hold of a freedom that you think you have. Mm -hmm. But I was abusing that freedom. And um, it really took coming to this church and having somebody really point out to me that I was causing other people to stumble for me to uh, yeah. give that up. Mm -hmm. But then I had that hidden sin, you know, that uh, was mine. And yeah. it but nothing's really hidden. Yeah, yeah, no, and we're gonna re we're gonna have more about that tonight. But uh, yeah, so again, if you want to share us anything or you want to, um, but just remember, it is live, so <laughs> it it's going out to everyone. Other words, definitely private messages. Yeah. Uh, next thing we would do is we would go over victories. And so, if this was your first night, we would give you this little black token and it says first corinthians 12 31 through 13 8 it says welcome we love you because he loved us first first john 4 19. Okay. um this the second token is for what 30 yeah 30 days of victory um if the sun shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. John eight thirty six, and then sixty days. So then, if you had sixty days, it would be this red one, and we will send these to you. So maybe you need to scoot. Is that the microphone? Yeah. Okay. Maybe it's me that they haven't. Yeah. Me. So ninety days. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone; the new has come. Second Corinthians five seventeen. 
90 so this would be yeah okay is that better uh does that help getting closer okay so 60 days of victory um he saved us through the washing of rebirth and renewing uh, by the holy spirit titus 3 5 through 6 and that's uh, the green one so i think we skipped that was three months yeah no that's 60 days so that's two months this is 90 days. yeah <laughs> all over the place <laughs> You this get, one is six months. You show up, you get tokens. Yeah, you show you up, show you get tokens. And... Jesus said, blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. They will be filled. Matthew 5, 6. And that's six months. Nine months uh, is orange. It says, being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion. Philippians 1, 6. This last one is for a year. And again, like we say, Matt says all the time, we share no expense, or we share, spare. we spare. <laughs> yeah, no expense. We have a, a Sharpie, and we can change it to two, three, four, five, six, whatever you have. But it says, Jesus said, a new commandment I give to you, love one another, John 13, 34. So if you had any of those victories, let us know. And we can try to get you one of those. Um, we're going to be going over tonight. Something you're thankful for. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So to get us out of our stinking yeah. thinking. Yeah. Uh, we always like to share in the group uh, what we're thankful for. So, Tim, what do you think? I'll for? go. <laughs> I got to uh, spend the weekend with my granddaughter who I really have got, haven't got to know. And so that was pretty awesome. Um yeah, uh, I love it. It was uh, from a daughter who's been kind of off in the far country. Mm -hmm. And so it uh, was awesome to spend time. And she's a lovely young lady. So but how about you? Uh, today I got to take the day off and go to the coast with my family uh, before I have to fly out to Chicago uh, tomorrow. So I'm, I'm very thankful that I got the, the freedom through my employer to just you know, take a day off awesome. um, and then I also got to take some time off last Friday as well so I'm very thankful for that um, and I'm also just always thankful for my family um, and the life that Christ has given me um, because I know what it would have been if I would have continued to yeah, where it was headed where it was headed yeah exactly very cool what are you guys thankful for you can let us know in the message but uh, we're gonna head into this evening's most excellent way and um, our attitude of victorious living tonight is submissiveness Jesus said blessed are the meek for they shall inherit the earth Matthew 5 5 I give my will and my life to Jesus Christ you're called you choose you commit and you change Faith in God's promises produce power. Tonight we're reading from Colossians 3, 1 through 16. If you have been raised up in Christ, keep seeking the things from above where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your mind on the things from above, not on the things of this earth. For you have died and your life is hidden with Christ and God. When Christ, who is in our life, is revealed, then you will also be revealed with him in glory. Therefore, consider the members of your earthly body as dead to immorality, impurity, passion, evil, or evil desire, greed, which amounts to idolatry. For this, for it is because of these things that the wrath of God has come upon the sons of disobedience. Okay, we're at, yeah, Colossians 3, this is verse 7. 7, yeah. And in them you also once walked when you were living in them, but now you also put them all aside, anger, wrath, malice, slander, and abusive speech from your mouth. Do not lie to one another, since you laid aside the old self and its evil practices, and have put on the new self, who is being renewed to a true knowledge according to the image of the one who created him. A renewal in which there is no distinction between, between Greek and Jew, 
circumcised, uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave, and freeman, but Christ is all and in all. So as those who have been chosen of God, holy and beloved, put on a heart of compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving each other. Whoever has a complaint against anyone, just as the Lord forgave you, so also should you. Beyond all these things, put on love, which is the perfect bond of unity. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ richly, richly dwell within you. So what stands out to you guys that looks like submissiveness? I, uh, the one thing that I see in here, Jeremy, is that there's a lot of set your mind um, that, uh, oh, there's a lot of things in there that I can do, mm -hmm. uh, but I have to choose to do them. And, uh, you know, we talked about it a little bit earlier. Am I going to choose that? But I, I can do it. So um, I also see that, um, that this is a relationship, that um, this is what a true relationship looks like mm -hmm. down on this lower portion. Um, how about you? Yeah, um, keep seeking the things above. Um, so if you've placed your faith in Christ, it's a done deal. You're, I'm saved. So now I have that choice, like you just said. Um, you, you can choose to put on your old self, which is all of these bad things, or you choose to put on the new self, who is being renewed. It's a process. And you get these good things, which is compassion, kindness, humility, it's like the fruit of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's a choice, like you said. Yeah. Um, but it, it starts with letting it happen. Keep seeking the things above. Um, I know personally, sometimes uh, I dwell on, you know, the problem instead of setting my mind on him. Um, so it's, it's just, you know, keep seeking the things above um, where Christ is sitting at the right hand of God, mm -hmm. those heavenly things. I, I love that he uses the word let. And, uh, you know, if you have been raised, then keep seeking. Mm -hmm. um, all those just keep telling me over and over that it's something that I can do. I mean, it's with his power, yeah. but it's something that I can do. Um, I can also not do it. So um, that's why we want to be in God's word. Um, but the other thing, uh, when you're looking at this and he's uh, listening, because I remember used to thinking that, I was too bad, or there's no way God's going to forgive me, for, you know, that a believer who's caught up into this. And as he's going through that list of um, a renewal in which there is no distinction between Greek or Jew, circumcised or uncircumcised, uh, barbarian, Scythian, slave, or free man, um, there's some pretty big differences there mm -hmm. in each one of those. And uh, when you get to the part of the barbarian and the Scythian, Scythian was like the worst of the worst. Mm -hmm. And so there's nothing that you can do that's going to take you out. As long as you believe in Christ, Yeah. there's nothing. Yeah, and it sums it up right there. But Christ is all and in all. So when Christ, when you're his, when you're, when you're his heir, we're all... We're all in the family. Yeah. So Scythian, bar I mean, barbarians were bad, but Scythians, I yeah. mean, that's pretty bad. Um, like, But you go to the room next door, you have the guys that were in jail, and then you got the guards that were locking them in every night in the in the same room just across yeah. just across the way. It's, it, it's miracles. And loving each other. And loving each other. Which There's before no they difference. hated. Yeah. Yep. So... Um, it's encouraging. It's very encouraging. So if you if you haven't been to the most excellent way live, or we encourage you to, yeah. to come on in. Um, it's there's something to be said. Um, it's very biblical um, about what's going on, yeah. and we love that you can uh, attend online also. But if you have the ability to make it in, um, we'd love to see you. Yeah. So what else stood out? I know you had s said quite a few things during our staff time. Um, 
yeah, um, being renewed is the process. Um, so when I got saved, um, you know, he, he, he actually, the Lord did take my desire for alcohol away pretty much. I mean, it was, I still struggled with it. I tried it a couple more times, but it was a process. Like I tried to drink again just to see, and I didn't like the taste. And then I tried to drink again. I didn't like the feeling. And then the third time I always say, I, I didn't like the taste and I didn't like the feeling. So I was done, but my flesh still wanted to try. So it's a process for God, but God did a, a miracle there. Um, but it's a, it's with anything. I mean, fill in the blank, uh, of what can be, a, become idolatry. I mean, these little, 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 mm -hmm. little gadgets become an, you know, an idol, um, spending time on this instead of spending time with him. Um, and I'm not trying to be legalistic, but this thing, I mean, if, if we spend the amount of time in God's word instead of on this thing, I mean, uh, just think how much more peace, uh, that's actually, I've been really, uh, the Holy Spirit's been working on me on that. It's just that, I mean, I have no problem spending hour, two hours on that phone. Um, and I should be doing that time. Because I'll say, you know, at the end of the night, oh, I'm tired and, and it's been a full day, but I found time to do that. Mm -hmm. I can find time to be in God's Word. Yeah. It's... Yeah, we, we, it's what you choose. Yeah. And and again, like you said, not being legalistic, because it can come across as legalistic, but if you truly love God and you want to know more about it, yeah. it's a relationship. Yeah. And um, I mean, my marriage was no different. You know, when I first got married, uh, I was selfish and there was things that I, you know, I wanted me time and, and that, but that's not... Um, what this is saying, that's telling you to get rid of that past. Yeah. And the, you're a new person. And again, like you said, it's, it is a sanctification process. The Lord's been changing me and molding me uh, a long time, but um, he's the one doing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. He's the one doing it. It's let him, letting him do it. Letting him do the work, the good works you know, yeah. that he's already prepared for us. It's just letting him, or letting him, or letting those works be done uh, that he's had us had set up for us to do. Say hi to some of those guys. Should we go to the next slide? Or yeah. So uh, E. Stanley Jones. Uh, had a nice quote that Matt put on the card. If you don't surrender to Christ, you surrender to chaos. And I think uh, did did uh, Pete also? Yeah. Preach this on Sunday, so. Yeah. Yeah. But how true is that? Yeah. I mean, if you don't surrender, and I can think of just well, and you even talked about it, but I can think of where my addiction was taking me, and. Um, but I chose to hold on to that, you know, as much as I said I wanted to get rid of it, I kept choosing it mm -hmm. until the point that uh, I surrendered it to Christ. I don't know if that made any sense, but this is uh, something that Matt wrote, and this is, what you do willingly, as unto the Lord, even if unpleasant task, will become blessings in your life. God will see it. Trust him, for it is, for its submission to uh, his word and his will for your life that will lead unto a, unto a settled rest. In our next passage, God makes a guarantee. You will find the the purpose and the fulfillment of your life as you yield to the to his will for your life the creator knows what's best for you but if you're not convinced of that yet know this god says you can be today he will take it from you or he will take it from you from the chaos to rest in him you want to read hebrews yeah, Hebrews uh, chapter 4, 6 through 7, and also 11 through 16. It says, Therefore, 
since it remains for some to enter it, God's rest, and those who formerly had good news preached to them failed to enter because of disobedience, he again fixes a certain day, today, saying through David, after so long a time, just as has been said before, today if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts. Therefore, let us be diligent to enter that rest, so that no one will fall through following the same examples, same example of disobedience. For the word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, and piercing as far as the division of soul and spirit of, joint, of both joints and marrow, and, it, and is able to judge the thoughts and intents of the heart. And there is no creature hidden from his sight, but all things are open and laid bare to the eyes of him whom, with whom we have to do. Therefore, since we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus the Son of God, let us hold fast to our confession, which is the gospel. For we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who has been tempted in all things, as we are yet without sin. Therefore, let us draw near with confidence to the throne of grace, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. I love that last part. Um, receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. And I, I'm always in need. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and he sits on the throne of mercy. I mean, he's seated on the, th the throne of mercy. So it's just, this is his character um, to, to give it. Um, and, and it's not someone who wasn't tempted in all things. It doesn't get it. Like right. Christ gets it. He was tempted in all things. And I used to not really, um, I used to think, oh, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's the Messiah. Like it's Christ. Yeah. Of course he can. But he was tempted in, in all things. But more than I've ever been tempted. I mean, to the point where he was sweating blood. Um, I think it's also in Hebrews where, it, you know, it, it yeah. says you haven't been, you haven't resisted until the point of shedding your own blood. And Christ did. Like, he he was tempted in all things to the point where he was shedding his blood. And so it says, therefore, let us draw near with confidence to the throne of grace because he gets it and he's going to give it. He's going to give us grace. Yeah. Um, I, lo I love that. I, I also love that first part where it, when he's talking about today, if you hear his voice, don't harden your hearts. Therefore, let us be diligent to enter in to that rest. It truly is a rest. Mm -hmm. When we hear his voice and give in, submit, it does change everything. Mm -hmm. It does. It's not that it, not that it's easy, or, or or that we're not tempted, but he takes it for us. Mm -hmm. I like what we were talking about, where it says, "able to judge the thoughts and the intentions of the heart." Mm -hmm. um, that's even when we really don't know, right? Yeah. So there's a lot of times where I'm praying, and I know that I did something stupid. You know, just in my, with my attitude or my, you know, whatever. And I, ju I just have to ask him, Lord, you just need to make that happen to me. Because uh, I definitely, but he knows. He, yeah. knows. he knows it all. Yeah, one of the guys said uh, in staff time, if, if you're not sure, when you're praying, and if you're not sure you're genuine, God knows if you're being genuine or not. And that, yeah. that is so true. Like, he knows our thoughts and intents. Even when we go to him in prayer, he knows if we truly are repentant of whatever it is. Like he, he knows. So a, a good prayer is, Lord, convict me. If 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 I'm um, if I'm asking for help and I'm not truly repentant over this, Lord, convict me. Convict me that I, yeah. I see the sin for what it is and what you did for that sin, which was you paid it all. Yeah. You took it to the cross. Um, what else stood out to you? So yeah, today I love, I love, I love that as well. Um, that certain day, and if you pause right there and, and you don't read the next part where it says today, as an addict, you would think, oh, I have time to, oh yeah, uh, you know, I got some time. But no, this says today because tomorrow we're not guaranteed tomorrow. We're not guaranteed right. the next moment, and um, it's today. We gotta, we gotta do it right now. So if you hear his voice. Man, if you hear if you hear Christ knocking at the door uh, of your heart, man, today, right now is the time to do it. Right now, if you don't know Christ as your Savior, uh, today is the day to to make that happen, and it's just simply believe. Um, 
believe on Jesus Christ, that he uh, died, buried, and was resurrected for all of your sins, past, present, and future. It can't be that easy, can it? Oh. <laughs> we, <laughs> we, yeah. As men, at least, yeah. uh, women, I, I don't know, but we overcomplicate things. We, we think there's some loophole or string or, you know, strings attached or something, and it's, no, you just believe upon Jesus, and um, it's a done deal. Like yeah. he's, he's paid it all. So, uh, yeah, believe. It's that, it's that simple. And you can pray it with us, or you can pray it on your own. It's not. You can do it. You can do it in the back seat of your car. You can do it in your closet. You can do it on the foot of your bed. Uh, you can do it with your eyes open. It's Yeah, face down in yeah. a hotel room yeah. in North Dakota. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. So again, uh, be diligent. Let us to be diligent to enter that rest. It, it takes uh, part of us, just with the, the passage in Colossians 4. Keep seeking, be diligent. Um, so I, I hear that theme uh, through these two uh, yeah, so chunks. What's of diligent mean? Um, <laughs> the, I'm, a, I'm a math guy, but yeah. diligent is to like keep at it, like make like it's important to to, yeah. to get her done. <laughs> yeah, no, it, and. I mean, I can be diligent in so many things, and but it's what you find important. Yeah, you know, I can uh, I can be diligent on checking my phone yeah. every day or every hour, you know, to see. But um, this is worth it, um, and we. That rest is going to be found no other place. Mm -hmm. You know, I tried to find it pornography, you know, alcohol, whatever. Um, but that rest comes through him. Mm -hmm. And if you hear his voice today. Yeah. Take it. Yeah. And as as Matt Macero said, and I, I'm just going to re-quote it from him, kind of. I don't know if I can quote it. But who better else to go to? The one that knows everything anyway. Why not? go to him like if you're gonna bring your stuff to someone why not bring it to him he already knows it all um, so what a safer person to bring it to is our Lord he, right. he knows it so um, you know we talk about the most excellent way being safe but yeah. man no other safer person to bring your stuff to is the one who knows knows it anyway uh, he's gonna understand and and he's paid for it he's he's been tempted in all things he's done it all yeah so why not just go to him and when should I do that Today, today right now yep so all right you want to read that uh john rw scott we are not truly converted if we have if we are not intellectually and morally converted and we are not intellectually and morally converted if we have not subjected our minds and wills to jesus christ and that's john rw scott scott sorry scott that's scott yeah. yeah that's 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 not scripture, but man. It's really good. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good. Yeah. Um, it's being subjected to Christ. It's it's all about uh, letting letting him do the work. Letting, yeah. letting his will be ours, not our own. I think I said that earlier. But yeah, let go. Let go. Yeah. Let go and let, let Christ, the Holy Spirit, flow. Yeah. <laughs> and that's out there for you guys, man. Uh, you do not have to be caught up in your addiction Christ can free you from it we can't do it on our own and when we do we just keep messing it up so uh, if you hear the Lord calling today don't wait don't wait don't harden don't run he knows best he already knows so it's not like you need to tell him much he just confess that you are a sinner mm-hmm so it's like join the club yeah yeah but join this club yeah that's not ah. be an heir yeah. yeah all right we're gonna pray with you and uh lord uh, we just thank you that we could be here this evening we thank you for everyone who is on the live feed or that will listen to this later thank you for uh, jeremy being willing to sit in here and uh, go through this with me this evening lord I thank you for what you've done in his life and the change and uh, just uh, the strength in his marriage that you've done, Lord, and also in my life and what you've done with uh, 
my wife and uh, my family, Lord. And if there's anybody out there uh, this evening, Lord, that has um, yearning or, or that you've been pulling on their hearts, that um, we just ask that uh, they would run to you, Lord. Mm -hmm. uh, it's that easy. I mean, we know that uh, we're sinners and that you loved us so much that you died for us. You rose in three days and that um, all we have to do is uh, confess that and um, and ask you to come in and uh, and then submit um, listen to what you uh, what you have to say and what we need to be about mm -hmm. um, carry that relationship out be in your word uh, learn to abide and uh, not that we have to be clean when we come to you but as I our relationships grows uh, you cleaning us up mm -hmm. and I thank you for doing that uh, we ask you to be with each one of these people this week Lord mm -hmm. uh, that are struggling we just ask that you uh, would be with them also be with them as we head into November and and start heading into all the holidays uh, just give them strength and uh, guide them in Jesus name amen amen all right thanks for being with us and um, we um, thanks for being patient as we lost our video and had to redo that. And uh, but God bless you, and uh, we're praying for each one of you. If you private message us, uh, we definitely will go back through these and uh, try to get to you. So, all right, have a good night. <laughs>